feel like dying right now. It's just, really it just right hurts. <laughs> just nauseous out of my mind and back pain. And it's kept me trapped, trapped in my bed, trapped in my room. Nobody knows the horror of it. Nobody knows I'm the only one there in the middle of the night. And I've been the only one there in the middle of the night for years. When one of them is throwing up in one room, the other one is unable to sleep and feels like they're going to throw up in the other room. And I'm going back and forth. And it feels like they just are going to die right then. And we're trying to decide whether to go to the emergency room. Is this something that they can help with? And so many times going to the emergency room to find out there was really nothing they could help. The suffering is just required because there's nothing to do to relieve the suffering. People underestimate it so much. Because, yeah, they have that association of, oh, it's a tick bite, and then it stops there. They don't think, what happens after that? You're hurting. Let's get you back in bed. <laughs> Just absolutely incredible pain. You can't get used to it ever, because the second you start to handle one symptom, there's another symptom. <laughs> it feels... Like, I'm screaming into the wind. Like, it feels so obvious that my kids are gonna die. And I wanna be strong, and I am strong, and I've done it for 10 years, and I need help because I've tried everything and I've given everything to it, and there is hope out there. Going to India, my life has never been has never been the same since that day. I've been better, and I stayed that way. The only thing standing between them and a possible life is the resources to get them there. I can't get them there without other people coming alongside us and saying they're worthy, that who they are counts, and that that they deserve to have a chance for healing. For now, kind of the larger goals and dreams are on hold. Um, I don't really feel like an average 22-year-old that can go live in a dorm and get a part-time job um, and live. I don't want anything big. I just want to be well enough that I can go to school and have my education and have dinners with my family and sit up at a table.